Hi, everyone. My name is Zoe. I'm 15. This is my sister Daphne, who's three years younger than me. I love her very much, and I think she loves me too. I mean, we're sisters, but unfortunately, Daphne is very jealous of me. Do you want to know why? Because I'm my parents' favorite. Our parents love me more. And that's why Daphne is so annoyed with me. But please tell me one thing. How is this my fault? It's not like I'm going around begging my parents to love me more. If my sister had the same qualities as I do, I'm sure they'd love her as much as they love me. If we're going to look for someone to blame, it should be Daphne herself. She's been giving me the silent treatment for a long time, as if this were all my fault. But I'm going to tell you all about it now. If you think I'm right, please let me know in the comments because I'm really sad about this whole situation. Until a few years ago, I had no idea that I was in fact my parents' favorite. I never noticed that they treated me differently. One day at dinner, Daphne asked, Mom, what's the pin code on your phone? When mom said, why do you ask, honey? Daphne told her, just say it. So mom said, 2006. Then Daphne turned to our dad. Dad, what's the password on your phone? When dad said, same as your mom's, Daphne said, so it's 2006, and whose birth year is it? Mom replied, it's Zoe's. Daphne turned to me. That's right, it's your beloved daughter Zoe's. I think my parents figured out where this conversation was going. That's why they didn't say anything. However, when Daphne said, Dad, could you show us your phone's wallpaper? Dad replied angrily, Daphne, could you please eat your food? Where are these ridiculous questions coming from? All of a sudden, Daphne started crying. I know that both you and mom have Zoe's photo as the wallpaper on your phones because you love her more than you love me and I can't really take it anymore. She screamed. I was listening to this exchange in shock. My mom said, Daphne, you both are our children. We love both of you equally. My sister stood up angrily. She said, that's obviously not true. Zoe is your favorite child and everyone in this house knows that and stormed out of the kitchen. That evening, I thought about what she said. Yes, Daphne was definitely right. My parents were not treating us equally. But there was a reason, or actually many reasons, why they were acting this way. It makes me kind of uncomfortable to say this, but to be honest, if you were to compare Daphne and me, it makes sense that our parents would like me more than her. For example, Daphne's grades are always average. She doesn't do anything to try to improve them. She never does well on exams, but she always has some excuse. Either she had a stomach ache, or the questions were too difficult. I, on the other hand, study hard every day. I take school very seriously. I was the third best student in my elementary school and the second best in junior high. When we get together with our relatives, our parents love bragging about my achievements in school. <laughs> Naturally, they never have anything to say about Daphne. So she's always complaining. Our parents are only proud of you. They never talk about me. They're always praising you. Does Daphne have a right to say these things? If she worked hard like I do, our parents would talk about her achievements as well. One day, mom said to her, could you go out to buy eggs and coffee and please take out the trash on your way? True to form, she refused, saying, you're always telling me to do something. Why don't you tell Zoe to do it for once? Why is it always me? Mom said, I'm not asking your sister because she's studying. You're just sitting in your room playing with your phone. To be fair, Daphne does most of the chores around the house. My mom rarely asks me for anything. On the other hand, I take my schoolwork very seriously. As soon as I come home from school, I sit down at my desk, go through everything we studied in class, then I do practice questions for tests. I take a short break in between and then eat dinner. Other than that small break, I study all the time. Daphne is the exact opposite. I've never seen her do homework. I'm not sure she even studies for her tests. That's why I think it's normal that mom asks her to do the chores. I really don't think the way mom treats Daphne is unfair. I think she deserves it. There's another important reason why I'm my parents' favorite. Mom thinks I look just like her. She tells me, we're both very lucky because we both have tiny noses. <laughs> you also have good style and you always look good in whatever you wear, just like me. Meanwhile, my dad thinks I'm responsible and disciplined just like him. He tells me, 
I'm so glad you take after me. You're going to have a successful career just like me. I don't know where your sister gets her laziness, but it's definitely not from us. And she's going to have a lot of problems in the future because of it. I think both my mom and my dad are especially nice to me because they think I'm like them. Of course, there's nothing Daphne can do about this. It makes me sad to say this, but if she were more like mom and dad, maybe they would love her more. Last week, Daphne suddenly came into my room. Since I know she is jealous of me, I could tell right away what she wanted. She came by to check if my parents got me anything new. Normally, if they get me something they didn't get her, I always hide it. But that day, she caught me off guard. Because I love drinking coffee, my mom got me a really nice thermos. When Daphne saw it, she was like, What is this? Who got you this? Why? Why didn't she get me one? Why don't I know about it? throwing a million questions at me, and then running off to mom to ask her to explain herself. As I said, she's extremely jealous of me and she doesn't hide it at all. So my mom got me a little gift. Why is she getting so upset? Am I wrong here? Why can't she just say, that's a really nice bottle you got, enjoy it. <laughs> but she'd never say that. She has to make a scene and then complain about how mom and dad don't love me. If you act like this, of course they won't like you. Another thing Daphne is mad about is the fact that my allowance is bigger than hers. But of course there is a reason for that too. Whenever Daphne gets any money, she runs to the bookstore. Yes, reading books is great, but I mean, come on, she is the biggest bookworm I've ever seen. She buys a new book and finishes it in two days. Our mom keeps telling her, read slower, don't rush through it. But my sister never listens to her. She has to finish it right away. Because she does this every time, her allowance is smaller than mine. Unlike her, I never spend my allowance. I save it, and then, with a little help from my mom, buy myself a nice laptop, for example. So what's left of the money Daphne spends? A big fat nothing. I don't think she has a right to complain about getting a smaller allowance if she wastes it. One day when I was out, Daphne came to talk to my mom. My mom told me what happened later. Daphne said, Mom, I think I'm adopted. <gasps> If I wasn't, you wouldn't be treating me like this. My mom got really sad and she took out Daphne's baby pictures and showed them to her. When Daphne said, you might have adopted me when I was a baby, these photos don't prove anything. My poor mom dug through all her documents looking for Daphne's birth certificate until she finally found it. Daphne took her time scrutinizing it. Then she went to her room without saying a word. As my mom was telling me all this, she started crying. I tried so hard, but I'm not sure if she's still convinced, she said. I was so mad at Daphne, so I went straight to her room. You have no right to be upset at mom like that, I screamed. She looked at me. Just as she was about to say something, she stopped and said, I get upset every single day, no one cares about it, and burst into tears. I couldn't stay mad at her, especially since she's younger. I gave her a hug. I said, I hear what you're saying, but there's nothing you can do. That's how you are. I think you should just accept it. For some reason, that made her furious. She looked like she was about to kill me. What do you mean? I thought for a second that you really got me. You disappointed me again, she yelled. I don't like fighting at all. I left the room without saying anything. Since that day, Daphne hasn't been speaking to me. I'm really upset about being estranged from her for so long, but unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. I made so many attempts to make peace with her, but she always finds an excuse to say no. To be honest, I think Daphne can't stop being mad at me because my parents are still acting the same way towards her. As I said in the beginning, I love her a lot. She's my only sister. But unfortunately, we're not as close as we used to be. And this breaks my heart. Thank you for listening to me. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it now so you can get notified about new videos. Bye!